Hello everybody. Now the second question is find the top five highly correlated variables, right? So here again, we have two questions into it, though it is one question, but here are two questions. In fact, more than two, but I'll uh, consider it as two. First, you have to find the correlation of a of the variables available in a data frame and then pick out the top five highly correlated variables let me try to help you understand with the example okay so here is what we have here is the data frame which we have which we created in the first data frame on top of that i have applied certain more filters if you would like to understand what those filters are you can just let me know into the comment section okay now this is the data frame the data frame name is defaulters data defaulters data and on this you need to find the correlation to find the correlation this is what you do if you want to understand what correlation is link is in the description section just check that out okay so here is what you get now out of this matrix you see this is a big matrix out of this you need to figure out which are those five variables which are highly correlated for example if you see here you are getting the correlation of one right i will not explain you what is the uh, considerable value of correlation and all those things for that you check out my correlation vi uh, video okay so over here you see both of these two are same variables that's why it has the highest correlation which is quite obvious that's the diagonal okay then you see amount income total and uh, with count children so you see the correlation is 0 0.004 which is quite low now out of this matrix you need to figure out which are the five highly correlated so how are we gonna do that so for that let me show you a simple example what so that I could give you the better understanding what exactly the question is asking you to do okay so over here let's take some specific variables some two or three variables I'm taking right now let me take it to the board so over here if you see if you just try and notice over here this particular value right is exactly what we have over here this particular value is exactly what we have over here and this is exactly what we have over here same goes for this same goes for this and same for this right so if you see it is creating two triangles right upper triangle and lower triangle so what we need to do is we can keep either one triangle and bring it in the form of actual data frame and then pick out the top five highly correlated variables okay so i just hope that it is clear uh, here you see two triangles are available we need to keep only one triangle either you can keep the lower one or the upper one let's try to do this in jupyter notebook directly okay so over here now what i'll do is i will just remove this and i'll create another data frame let's call it def core okay and over here i will say defaulters defaulters data dot core and over here i'll show you the correlations so you see here the correlation is now after that i will show you to to achieve our task we require one library that library is numpy right so what you can do is you can import you can do import numpy as np it's very simple if you don't have it installed you can just say pip install numpy that will be installed right otherwise you can just uh, check out my videos on numpy installation now i have a complete series on numpy it's always beneficial to learn right so you can just check that out okay there is one function which is called np once okay and in that what you do is you create a matrix which will be having the value of one only let's say four by four first you need to give the dimension of the matrix matrix what is the dimension of matrix that you want to have right so let me say four by four i want to have okay let's see if this work you see here you have four columns and four rows right and then on top of that what you can do is you can apply other functions so same thing we are going to do with our data so first thing which we're going to do is we will say np dot once and what is the dimension that we need to give so that we can give 
the dimension of this table itself right so if you see what is the dimension of this so that you will get using shape function so you see 31 by 31 right so this is what the dimension is so i'll just take this and i'll just print the data so that it will be visible for our use okay np dot once all right so here you see we have 31 by 31 table or maybe you can say array right and in that we have all written what now there is one function which is called np dot try you all right try you this is nothing but the upper triangle in try you try stands for triangle and u stands for upper right so to upper triangle whatever values we have in upper triangle we want to convert that with one we want to keep that with one rather and lower one will be converted to zero let's do that so this is how it's gonna look like right you see over here the upper triangles are converted to one and lowers are as zero now there is another thing which we're gonna say as type np dot bool so this will just make it true or false which will be helpful to filter the data right so on this now we're gonna apply this thing on our data frame which is df dot core and here we're gonna say where and if when you do so this is what you get all right so now you must be seeing that here at the lower triangle and the diagonal diagonal values are converted with missing right and upper triangle only have the value now the next step is to pick the upper triangle how can we do that so for that first we need to unstack this data so we're going to say unstack this is the function which we have all right so you see now your data is looking like this previously you had uh, matrix now it is con looking at in columns you can see it in columns or something like that okay now the next thing which we need to do is we are gonna say reset index index to make it look completely like a data frame now you can see it's looking completely like a data frame isn't it yeah it is I understand okay so here is what we got now the next thing is we just rename these variables okay so what we can do is we can say rename and in that we can say columns and here you need to supply a dictionary all right all right so here i use this thing to rename that i pause the video just to write so so that it doesn't take much of the time so that's what i did right now i'm just going to execute this and here is what we see so you see variables are renamed now there is one problem this particular column would have some negative and some positive values because here we are just concerned about the highest correlated values right so we can just make them absolute right so what we can do is we will first we need to store this in our data frame so let's call it def unstacked ckd ckd okay so this is what I am going to call this particular data frame, right? So if you see over here, so this data frame is created and in that what we need to do is we need to make the correlation value as absolute values, okay? So you don't necessarily need to do this. If you want to be with that, you can just be with that. But here I'm just going to do that to be on safer side, all right? And then again, I will do this thing. So what gonna happen is all the negative values are converted to positive and we would have the absolute values okay now after this what we need to do is you see here it has some NAN values because those are lower triangle and the diagonal we need to get rid of them so how you know the favorite function which is called drop NA right so here is what we got and then you can use subset parameter and in that you can pass on the variable which is called correlation which is called okay so when you do so what it will do is in correlation variable wherever it finds nan it will subset the data on that and that uh, because we need to filter for the highest correlated so i'm going to sort the values sort values by by core and ascending 
equals to false right so what it will do is it will just sort the data see what all it has done it just removed the nan values and then sorted the data in descending order now out of this we need to let's just check the shape of this data how many rows that we have over here so you see 465 rows we have with three columns now we need to pick only 10 variables right that's what our problem statement was so we can say head 10 right so now here you got it now here you got the list of all those 10 variables which are highly correlated and the correlation is between 0 0.58 to 0 0.99 these two variables are highly correlated then this then this and then this so now further you can decide whether you want to keep these features into your data for further analysis or you want to drop that all right i just hope that you understood it just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section thank you very much for watching